You're watching Ten Hundred, baby, yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington. My buddy Blake Lewis hit me up and asked me to design his album artwork. And I was like, that sounds like a cool idea. I'm down. So I'm gonna be trying to design some album artwork today. But first, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is a super awesome online learning community where there's tons of tutorials on art and design and all kinds of really rad classes. There's a link down in the description where you can get two free months if you sign up to the link in the description. Everyone who signs up through that link also supports this channel. So check it out learn some things, and support this channel. Anyway, I'm gonna try and uh, design some album artwork. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's give it a whirl. Blake Lewis is my homie. He's a super awesome beatboxer and singer, and he was actually on American Idol. I forget how far he made it, but he did really well on that show. Yeah, he's a, he's a dope dude, a multi-talented dude, and he's been a, a fan of my art for a long time, so it's about time. I think I've done like a show poster for him in the past, and it'll be exciting to actually like do the artwork for his new album. I can't wait for you to hear this album. Welcome to my studio. Got some Seattle love, some Seattle art. Oh yeah, ten hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> So I just finished that drawing and I just texted it off to Blake, see what he thinks. I think I'm gonna take another stab at it though and kind of give him a couple different options. So here's what I'm thinking. I, I drew out this sort of astronaut adventurer, explorer guy that's kind of a portrait of Blake and he's gonna be crash landed on this like alien jungle planet filled with like crazy alien animals and musical instruments and it's like Blake was really inspired by a t-shirt I designed called Discover Paradise where it's like this astronaut, this brown, boring astronaut from like a boring planet crash lands on like a paradise planet and, and Blake really likes that shirt but I just kind of am drawing this boy, this little boy who is got, who's an explorer. Maybe this boy is on this like tropical jungle planet with alien creatures and, and music stuff but instead of him being an astronaut that crash landed there, maybe he's like um, dreaming it all up inside of his head. And uh, maybe that represents Blake's creativity and, um, and imagination. And I think everyone who's creative is maybe connected to some of that childlike imagination that goes away for a lot of adults. So I'm gonna send him both versions and explain myself. And that's what I'm thinking. It's a little bit off script of what he requested, but you know, it's an idea that intrigues me, so I'm gonna pursue it a little bit and send it over to him. And this is something that connects with me, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna explore it a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. So I finished my pencil sketches, emailed them off to Blake. He's feeling the astronaut vibe, so we're gonna go with that one, which is cool because then I have that that other boy character to use for my own personal use. Um, that's always kind of the bonus of making extra art. So now it's time to ink the astronaut and then we're gonna start trying to work on the design. So I'm gonna get to inking. Oh yeah! Get up! Hey! Woo! Oh yeah! Get up! Hey! Woo! Oh yeah!
I just finished inking the astronaut, so we'll photograph it and then bring it into Photoshop, bring it into the computer and start coloring it and turning it into a world. so far but I kind of have this idea in my head where I want to like I don't know it's like uh, I want to water down some acrylic paint and make some like some like trippy colorful grasses I guess I've never really tried this before I've never really mixed like painting like actual real acrylic painting with my digital art so I'm gonna try to do like a layer of actual painted colorful alien grasses we'll see how this goes I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not <laughs> but uh, give it a try I can put this in the design. It might look really weird and jarring or it might look awesome. I've never tried this before, so let's pop this into Photoshop. You're so elegant and so graceful. There. <laughs> I love those colors together. That's inspiration right there. It's McDonald's right there. <laughs> Not sponsored. It makes me hungry. Look at my boot. Look at that swag, swag. Girl, got some boots, swag. No, Looking look so at it. Hot. Hey. Oh, Georgie, shoot it, damn. Yeah. I've been working on this design all day, so me and wifey need a little time out of the house, but I gotta go outside now to start the car, and I'm super not excited. Oh God, this is not tight. Oh, it's like, it takes your breath out of your lungs. <laughs> oh, I grew up in Michigan, and I thought I was done with the snow, but this is no joke. So, gotta start the car. Oh, it's like the day after tomorrow. I feel like Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, I'll leave this running for a bit. Let's get the heat cranking. Max hot, son. Max hot. Hey, George. You're like a certified YouTube star now. Everybody likes you more than they like you more than me. That's for sure. Hey, Georgie. Hey, bud. Can't even open the gate. There's too much snow. Hey, hey. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Jeez! You just knocked me into the pants. I want all the snacks. Yeah. I need all the snacks. Oh no, there's snow in my boot. <laughs> there's a snake in my there's boot. There's a snake in my boot. I'm dreaming of a white Valentine's Day. Uh, I want it to be Christmas again. It's freaking gnarly out here. We made it to my friend Joe's house. Mission accomplished. Do you want to leave this here and carry the bags? Sure. So I got the album art to a point where I sent a quick work in progress off to Blake because I didn't want to put more and more and more time into it if he wasn't feeling it. And he's super feeling it. He loves it. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on it. I got to add some kind of musical instrument elements like kind of peeking out of the jungle. Uh, maybe a little bit more like alien creatures and wildlife. He wants a, one of like my version of his guitarist on the back part of it. And I'm just going to keep pushing it and building this tropical paradise 
world that Blake has kind of crash landed on. I kind of threw out the idea to Blake of making his guitarist, like maybe like a native of this world. So he's not going to be in a space suit. He'll be more like, I don't know. I'll vibe it out, figure it out. So uh, I'm going to be drawing up some musical instruments, building, building up the layers and building up the world. But I like the way it's going so far. It's super crazy, vibrant. Hopefully it jumps off of shelves at, at record stores and hopefully it like catches people's eye on iTunes and Spotify and these different digital distribution platforms and yeah hopefully it turns out awesome so that's what I'm gonna be doing just working on that All right, so the front cover is looking pretty good. It's coming along, but now I need to work on the back cover, uh, do a portrait of Blake's guitarist, you know, continue that world so it like wraps around the CD case or the vinyl case or whatever he ends up deciding to do. So I'm gonna work on that now and hopefully it turns out cool. So making album artwork really is an interesting kind of project because musicians, you know, this is their creativity. This is their baby. They write the songs, they work on the songs to make them better, record the songs, mix the songs, master the songs. They've been working on this project for a long time and then they they come to me and they want to have my creativity become a part of their creativity. You know, I'm always so honored when a musician that I respect and a musician that I like asks me to design the album artwork for their creation. It's an honor, but it's also really stressful and it's a lot of work. I don't do a whole ton of album artwork, but when I actually do make some album artwork, it's a pretty special project. Hopefully this turned out good and people like it and hopefully Blake likes it. And yeah, it's just, it's just interesting, but it's pretty cool when two creative worlds can come together. So I think I just finished the album artwork and I just texted it off to Blake. So we'll see what he thinks, see if he likes it, if he wants me to add anything else and <laughs> hopefully he likes it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool so far. Just waiting on that reply. As an artist, whenever I like send off work to a client, it's never not nerve wracking to just like sit there and wait for their reply. <laughs> like <laughs> Now I'm just gonna chill and see what he says. So Blake just got back to me, he said he really likes it, has a few little minor changes, uh, just wants some things kind of scaled differently and some elements kind of flip-flopped. So I'm gonna do a quick, couple few quick little changes and uh, yeah, he's feeling it, I'm feeling it, it's gonna be cool. And yeah, it's been, it's been a fun little project. We're getting close to the end. Yes. All right. <laughs> Well, that is it. The album artwork is done. I sent it off to Blake. He loves it. This is what it looks like. This is the final version and I really like it and Blake really likes it and turned out super cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments whether you like it or not. Blake wanted me to tell you that this album comes out Friday, May 10th, so put that on your calendars because the music's cool and Blake's a cool dude, so it'd be awesome if you guys gave that a listen. Also, his Instagram and Facebook is just Blake Lewis, so if you want to check out more of what he's got going on, you can do that. Uh, yeah, that, this is fun. This is a cool project. Don't forget to check out the Skillshare link down in the description so you can get yourself two free months of Skillshare. You can check out my website, 1000art.com. I have all kinds of t-shirts and prints and hoodies and hats and skateboards and a bunch of fun stuff over there. And my Patreon is always popping off. If you guys want to support me and get behind the scenes stuff, monthly Q and A's, podcasts, early video releases, chatting on the Discord server. We're doing a lot of fun stuff over on Patreon. So if you want to go that little bit of extra mile, support me, and also get some bonus content at the same time, you can check out my Patreon. That would be super helpful. Thank you so much to my patrons. Yeah, this is a fun one. This is an interesting project. I'm happy with how it turned out. This is pretty much the end of the video. But uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, just an awesome little chunk of Blake Lewis doing some live jamming and beatboxing because it's dope. So stay tuned for that if you want to catch some more of those vibes. I'm 1000. Like subscribe, comment, thank you, I'm out.
Mm-hmm.